God, <laughs> look at my fringe. Why is it so high? Why am I in an anime? What? Let's see if this helps. <laughs> what? I'm literally Jimmy Neutron right now. Fringe. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. Guys, it's just, it's just not even pretending to listen to me right now. <laughs> Oh well. This is beautiful music. Oh, actually, I think I might have taken your music away, but I may leave this on because it's beautiful and like emotional. Listen. Oh my god, beautiful. I have tears in my eyes. So, as you can probably tell, we are back in Willow Creek today, which means we are back in Le Dreamers. Dreamers? Dreamhouse? Dreamhouse? Because it's little rider room. Like, basically, I can't age up. Faith and not Asian Rider straight afterwards. I feel like those guys are like a pair and they have to be together. And also, since I want them to move to the city and like start their own life together, maybe Jakey Sneaky moves in as well. Like, I just want Ryder to be a young adult as well. So I may have to do a little bit of work making sure that he's at least an A in school. Oh, I think he is. And I may also do a little bit of work on his like little lifetime achievement thing just to get him into a good place. I think I'm gonna age up Ryder today. The two I'm not as sure of is uh, Jesse and Roxy. I don't want to have three birthdays in one episode. That's a little bit too much cake. A little bit of a risk of diabetes if we do that. So I may save those guys for the next episode. So I'm going to work on their little lifetime dreams and stuff as well today. Let me know if you're excited for Ryderoo's birthday. I need another coffee. Wow, I have to get five videos recorded today. And if I keep this up, it's going to take an awful long time, you guys. But hopefully you're excited for Ryderoo becoming Rider 2. That makes no sense. What are you... What? Okay, so we are we where where is it taking me? Oh, this is great. Love this Sims. This is like my favorite thing in the whole world. So where are you, Jesse? You're just what? <laughs> this is so weird. Why do I join the Sims and she's just in front of an electrical cabinet? Like I'm bored. Like Jesse, I'm not surprised. You just stood in front of an electrical cabinet. What are you fixing it? What is even going on right here? I don't even understand what she's doing. I'm just gonna leave her to it, you guys. The rest of the Sims have been much more normal, or are they? I can't even see what they are doing. But they were all round at little face for her birthday. Although right now, things are just being weird. So I'm just gonna send everybody home, I'm thinking. Bert's home right now, especially you, Jesse. I don't know if you're like doing some sort of master plan. Are you trying to set the apartment on fire? Are you trying to kill your own sister's family? I don't even know what's going on there. And of course, if we rage aged Ryder up, really, we should also be- Oh, she's on Sixum. What? She just went to back to the alien planet on her own? Okay. I guess she just never left it. That's a little bit concerning because she's meant to be aging up this episode as well, but she seems to want to stay on her home planet. Oh, wow. Ryder's actually already on level two of his painter thing. He needs to go to a museum and complete 10 excellent paintings. But I can get you going on one painting now although you wanted to do a little bit of treadmill in maybe he's kind of seeing like connor's huge rider uh, not rider abel is a pretty big dude as well maybe he's kind of like well i want to be a little bit more muscular too i don't know about my cousins but instead <laughs> he is doing and paint do a playful painting okay and actually jesse has completed her lifetime aspiration and so is roxy oh my gosh did i just do that last episode and completely forget the fact that i'd done that actually love that they're both Prime and ready to age up. This could put you in risk of being old this episode. Little Roxaroo, you need to watch yourself, friend. Uh, can we not be doing that? That's disgusting behavior. Lecture. Lecture the cat, please. Oh, and also, our favorite butler is back. I like her the most of all. I'm thinking Ryder could probably, like, continue the tradition of painting the family members. I like how as soon as I say that, the butler switches the lights off. How rude. But we have loads of paintings of the family around. Maybe it's something that Ryder can do. <gasps> Anastasia has learned not to jump on counters. We're getting there, you guys. We are getting there. Can you get down then, please? Thank you, Anastasia. I'm gonna get him to paint little Jesse Bobs as an adult because I don't think we've ever had that. So there we go. 
Little painting from reference for Ryderu. So Ryder is very sad. He's deeply moved because he's a living instrument. And if you guys remember in the last episode as well, Ryder and um, Luna went to six them together. I think that's why she's still there, feeling very uncomfortable. But they went to six them together. And she kind of showed him her home planet. And then they ended up kind of getting quite lost in the moment up there. And they did have a first kiss. I think Ryder's probably feeling a little bit confused about everything because he also showed that he had feelings for Jake as well when he took him out on like a little date together. But I would have definitely got the vibe from Jake if I was Ryder that, you know, he's not flirting back with me. The guy is clearly like, he's, he's not interested. Maybe he's straight. And then Jake married two guys in a row, which to me is sending off pretty big hints of, I like guys, okay? I may have wanted to procreate with Faith, but that's because I want children. But really... I want to marry a guy. So this is probably extra confusing to Ryder because now he's like, well, if he likes guys, why did he reject me in the first place? Maybe that's why he's feeling so sad. I'm going to go check in on Luna as well because she hasn't left her planet since. Luna is literally still on the planet all on her own, feeling pretty sleepy. I've no idea why she decided not to come back with Ryder. Maybe she is actually happier being back on the alien homeworld. I don't know. I just feel like... There's probably a reason she's not come home. Maybe she's feeling a little bit confused about things as well. She's actually going to come home now. Return to the active lot. Maybe they're both just feeling a little bit lost and confused about everything. I also want to address something you guys said. You were like, oh, you can't have them two kiss each other. It's incest. First of all, not even just not brother and sister. Not even the same species. Luna came to live with the family as like a refugee from space. She was never like their adopted daughter or anything. They just agreed to look after her and provide her shelter. And I think the idea that if those two were growing up together and it ended up turning into feelings. Oh, she's not even going home. She's going to do her homework here. Oh, bless yeah. her. I wouldn't say that is like, yeah. that's not unheard of. That's not outside of the norm. Yeah. And it's definitely not anything weird, you guys. It is literally just two sims that ended up feeling an attraction for each other and had such a close, strong relationship that it's not unheard of for that to form, you know? That's like saying that any single person you knew as a child, you could never be in a relationship with if you grew up. Which is not the case at all. People find their childhood sweethearts all the time. That's why I class those two as more like childhood sweethearts than anything weird. You guys! I am gonna get her to go ahead and go through the teleporter and come back home. Back home to Earth. There you go. Look, she goes in and then she just disappears. Oh, wow. It's like a wormhole. I don't think I've ever seen that in action before. So little Luna Rooney is home a Rooney. I think you need to get straight in to bed a Rooney. I need to stop doing those weird things. <laughs> I also think she does have some new stuff in her inventory that we can kind of decorate her little spacey room with. Check this out. These weird little plants are going everywhere. Literally, I, I've, I like, there's so many places I can put them. There's so much opportunity for these tiny little plants. I don't want them to interfere with her desk space though. Oh my God, if I just put one in the fish tank. What? I feel like that's gonna kill any fish that you put in there. Also, why don't you have a fish? Let's get you a sweet ass little fish. There you go. Now you got fish in there too. Look at it just swimming around, looking at its strange alien plant. Oh, sorry guys, I had to go downstairs and get a coffee. Basically, Labine is in season. And when she's in season, she pees more and she wears a nappy. God, the house going up until the stairs exhausted me this much. So every time she wakes up in the night and moves, I like panic, rush to take a nappy off just in case she needs a <coughs> just in case she needs a toilet. She probably did it like 10 times last night, just moving. And I panic every single time. So I, I am so, so tired right now. Oh my gosh, I am literally having to lecture every single cat in the house. That one is such an Oliver. He's just sat there like purring his little butt off. Like no idea that he's being naughty pussycat right now. Oh, hello stranger in our garden. What the hell? Hurley has learned not to eat people food. Trading the cats like crazy today, you guys. And I'm kind of thinking, you know, since Ryder's going to be aging up soon, he might be moving out. Luna's going to be aging up soon. I don't even know what she's going to be doing, whether she's going to stay on Earth or go back to Sixem. And because Roxy and Jesse are going to be aging up soon, we should probably go somewhere nice together, right? So I think they should all go and spend a nice day out somewhere. So Roxaru has gone ahead. And oh, oh look at that little gap there. Uh, she's gone ahead and organized a day out. Where should we go, though? I know that Ryder wants to go to the museum. 
that could be quite nice, like a little family trip to the museum. You know the stuff that your parents used to make you do when you was a kid, probably maybe even still do. And at the time you're like, ugh, why do I have to go here? To be fair, with my dad, it wasn't even a museum, it was B&Q. Thanks, dad. That's not a fun day out, okay, for a teenage girl. Don't want to go to B&Q, not at all. So here we are at a cute little museum. This is real pretty, and I don't think we've ever been to a museum before, so I'm kind of excited. Look at this, Ryder is literally gonna go mad about this, isn't he? Why don't we all go and view some of this art together? Ryder will be like telling them like, I, I think you'll find this is from the uh, 1800s Renaissance period, it was actually painted in uh, the Seville area of Spain, and it is a very well-known brushstroke. You peasants probably don't know any like thing, anything about it. I'm kidding, Ryder's actually a very nice down-to-earth sim. Yeah. Although, his empathy could definitely use a little bit of work. Because his empathy is pretty bad, you guys. Oh, Luna! 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Disguise yourself! Oh, that was a close one. I mean, she's still glowing because she's happy about the day out they've taken together. But at least she's a little bit more hidden now, you guys. Cute. Look at this. Viewing all the beautiful art. Literally, he's gonna be loving that so much. <gasps> if he views one more, he's actually viewed three of his paintings at a museum as well. Just saying. I like how he's at the front as well. Like, he actually is the most keen on the artwork out of everybody. This is such the kind of thing, like, I would expect them to do as well. Because they're, like, a very creative family, I would say. Or at least this half of the family here is very creative. What else? Oh, wow, it's just loads of paintings. You'd expect them to put, like, a little cafe in it or something. You know, like the Tate Modern. That's got a little cafe. Where is the little cafe in here? I see none. Tell you what, why don't we go to this cute little front here instead? That would be nice. Luna's, this is good because she can do a little bit of her, she likes like digging stuff and discovering things. <laughs> Look, see how happy she is about that. And Roxy is just grilling up a few, a few little sausages. Oh, lovely, little grilled sausages. Although she's getting a little call from Kira. Oh my gosh, why doesn't Kira come around too? And these guys are keeping any romance they may have together. Very low profile when they're in front of all the farms. Kira's heading over to you guys, which is nice. Oh, look at this, beautiful sausages and peppers. Well done, little Roxaroon. Little Kira's coming to join us as well. Anthony has been looking after the baby and little Karuni. And you guys are always quite interested to see the family tree. So let's have a little nosy at the family tree. This is their tree. I don't know why she isn't listed as uh, Jessie's. It's just this weird glitch that the system's always had. <gasps> Look, we can see a little bit about- Oh! Oh my gosh! I never knew that Anthony and Joey were actually brothers. And they've both joined the police. And we don't actually know who their mother is. Oh my god, we should know Joey a little bit more, you guys. And then this is cool because you can see Carrie's exact line. And also Jessie's line is obviously huge. There's our little ghosties. But who you can't see on here is actually Luna. Which is again proves, you guys, Luna's geology, genealogy, geology, that's what she likes doing, not what her genealogy is, is all by herself. Like, she's not related to Ryder or anything. She's literally not related to him, okay? I wouldn't do that. Jesus Christ! And I'm kind of keeping an eye just to- They're just chit-chatting and having a bit of a laugh, which is- Is good, there's no- they're not like- They're keeping things on the down low if there is anything going on between them. Especially because I think- Right- Oh, you look at him catching it with wrong. sister. See, those two are brother and sister. Especially because I don't- I don't know if Ryder knows exactly oh, what he wants yet. Oh, and I think day. he's probably That's wants today. a conversation oh, with Jakey Snakey as well. Oh, but it's still- whatever happens, these guys will always have a beautiful oh, yeah, relationship oh, together, which I love. Oh, oh. She's just serenading Jesse in front of everyone. Does not care, she just wants to show the whole world. Where's she gone, Jessie? Oh my gosh, I can't even control this today. How much she loves little Jessie Bobs. Abel! Abel is here! Oh my gosh, yay! How have you guys never been properly introduced? I don't really know why he's come to hang out. He's also, to me, looking quite dazed. He's definitely looking quite ga dazed, you guys. I think she can empathize and, like, figure out... I don't know if he'll like it or not because it's an alien thing. But I think it will let us figure out what is wrong with him. Look at this. <gasps> okay, he knows that she's an alien now. But is he still dazed? Oh, no. 
He was not happy about that happening to him, you guys, at all. He looks so cute when he's angry, though. <gasps> Shared anger. So that's what's wrong with him, you guys. She's like gone, empathized with him, and picked up on his anger. And he's really, really not happy about that. Why didn't you apologize to him, okay? Okay, okay. She got some conflict resolution from that. Although now she's hearing all about Abel's criminal career. Let's not go the same way that Max went. Oh gosh. She's properly got Abel's shared anger, you guys. She is in a foul. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello, Roxy's eyelashes from the inside. That's a kind of freaky sight right there. Man, I, I feel like Luna really doesn't like Abel. I mean, you did try and read his brain, Luna. What do you expect? Humans don't tend to like that very much, okay? Oh, she's mad. She is mad. And at least Abel's calmed down a little bit, but he was raving mad a minute ago too. Oh my god, she wants What's nothing to do with him. <laughs> but so many sims seem to like not get on with <laughs> Luna very well when they first meet her. They just like clash with her a lot. I guess she's not probably that good yet as well at like empathizing with human emotions and like knowing how to act. I bet she comes across so blunt. Because she just doesn't get humans as well. She is an alien. She'd be like, God, you look rough today. And they're like, What did you just say to me? What did you just say to me? I bet she's now like looking at him like, what is the scruff around your face? I've heard everybody hates the scruff, Abel. What are you gonna do about this, this scruff hatred situation? What are you gonna do, Abel? And Abel's just like, who is this chick? Why is she in our family? Cause look, she also hates Erica. Like she has a few tense relationships, you guys. <gasps> oh look, see that as well? Abel was thinking about that kid that looks like Max's son. Does Max have another secret son, you guys? I'm kind of worried he might do, because that kid looked way too similar to him to just be a coincidence. The one that was in the In the Suburbs episode. Go watch it if you haven't already. It's weird. For whatever reason, this day has not been a good day for Roxy and Jesse's relationship. I know Roxy's uh, kind of singing serenades that Jesse hates. Things ain't going down so well. I know, look who's joined us. It's the In the Suburbs gardener. I don't know why she is here, but I think she's so cute. Okay, it's a little bit of a Sunday evening. That I think Ryder wanted the chance to go and clear the air with little Jakey Snakey. So I'm gonna get him to go ahead and just go and meet him. Also ask him about his many marriages. <laughs> what is going on there? I don't think I've ever been to the old quarter inn. So let's check that place out. So here is little Jakeeroo Snakeeroo. Let's just do a little bit of a catch up with him. Although he's off. Where are you off, friendo? I want to check this this pub out. I don't think we've ever been here before. Oh my gosh, don't tell me. <gasps> Look who that is. That is one of the munches that got married recently. We need to like congratulate him on his recent marriage. I can't remember who he married, but I know he definitely got married. Lucas uh, Munch, who I actually think may have been another of the kids in Max's Renegades gang Bell. when they were young, including we Elsa do? and Emma. Sooner. It's a weird incestuous society, you guys. So uh, Jake has come over, really but he is feeling- Lucas together again, by the way. Look who is literally together again. We seem to see these guys together a lot and then they try and hide it from us when we see them. We're like, yeah, we're definitely not here together. What are you talking about? We're just hanging out. Clearly, you guys are here together. You might as well just sit next to each other. It is so obvious you got- Whoa, whoa. Why are you even trying to hide it from us, you guys? I've never seen such obvious flirting in all of my life. Although your date just got crushed hard by Aisha here. Oh my God, look at Connor approaching the bar. Even when we're not controlling him. Even when we're not controlling him, you guys. Oh, and it's guys night at the bar. That's cool. This music is also a little bit depressing. Let's put something a bit more upbeat on, okay? Oh look, and Faith just got in touch. Say so there's a party going down at down at the nightclub right now. Do you want to check it out? I mean, it's a Sunday night. Faith, you might be aged up, but Ryder isn't. But at the same time, Ryder doesn't have a curfew. I think they should go check it out. Should we see if Luna wants to come along as well? I think we should. It's not fair to leave her out. Going to the nightclub, the discotheque. I think it's actually called the discotheque in this too. Also, of all the Sims to invite me to a nightclub, I would have put Faith definitely bottom five. Bottom five, I would say. Okay, who is DJing? It is this girl hey, here. Hey. Woo. Apparently ah. she's the headliner, yep, yep, Trisha yep. Sal Valandi. You Sugar. better be good, Trisha. You're doing a lot of, bit, a lot of dancing and stuff, so I have, I have fairly high hopes for you. 
<laughs> oh, now I'm not sure. Now I am not sure. Why is the music always so bad? So bad. Oh, what? Max is here. Obviously, Anthony is here, you guys. If anyone was gonna come, it was gonna be Anthony. And Asher is here as well. The whole gang is here. Oh, and obviously the drinks are insanely expensive here. Of course they are. Because it's a nightclub. And nightclub drinks are always so overpriced. And Lily Bob's is here too. Look at Lily Bob's dancing away. And can we just talk about the fact that Luna, Max's sister, is so desperately wants to get in on the series. It's untrue. She's hanging around everywhere like, Notice me, Claire. I will be in your series. I will marry someone. Plus, 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 plus. Oh, they've got their little firebomb drinks, you guys. <gasps> and Luna's still in a bad mood, you guys. She is still not really vibing this whole discotheque that hard. I literally want to just kill this DJ. Why is it so bad? It's so horrible. It is so horrible. Okay, I think we have some fun here. Little Faithy is like a teenager. I might get her to go and like talk to her. Uh, sorry, she's a young adult. I'm gonna get um oh why are you saying you don't like Luna? What is going on there? I'm having some sort of Luna-based argument. Can I encourage her to go and talk to the boy? She's never done it before and they are on a night out. Okay, I've called over this Caden dude here and I'm gonna talk up a little faith to him. This is like Lilith style behavior. Hey, where you go? Where you go, friendo? I have some chats to do to you. Wow, I'd love to get to know her. Look at her, she's like, yes! Thank you, Ryder. Oh, wow. Look at this. Now little Faithykins is talking to somebody. She's actually met a boy, you guys. This is huge. Faith is great. I'm so glad I got to know her. And now he's having a little catch up with Jake. And I actually think in the background, Faith is off to go and talk to that guy again. Little Caden. Like Caden Alenko from Mass Effect. Oh, and if there's a party, obviously Connor is here. Obviously Connor is here. Our Caden's doing some weird snaky moves to try and show off to her. <gasps> Connor has just discovered that Luna is an alien. I don't know what she's doing tonight, but everybody seems to know that she's an alien. I think it's because she's glowing green. Like, it's a pretty big giveaway, you guys. <gasps> Luna, look out! Look who's here! It's the guy that's come to check up on you all the time! We need to fix this once and for all. I don't know where he fits into Luna's past, but he only appeared after Luna started living with us. And now he won't leave us alone. He is everywhere. Oh, it's and now he's coming to come shout at her. <gasps> is he like a weird dad or something? Don't stand for that, Luna. Tell him what is what. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't know there was another bar here. But apparently there is. But I think Luna's finally having a showdown with this alien dude. She is not standing for any of that. Like, yeah. why did you follow me everywhere? Okay. What is the deal with that? <gasps> He's saying that he broke her heart. Why has she become flirty? Is he, like, actually, like... What? What is going on here? What is even going on here? <gasps> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Try for a baby in a closet. Are you actually joking me right now? <laughs> are you actually joking me right now? No! You're meant to hate him! Where are, you're not going to any closet to try for any bit. Is that the closet? No, 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 no. Stop! Luna, stop! Luna, I just told you stop. I just told you stop. Stop, 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 stop. <gasps> no, this is so weird! No! Stop! 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 I'm, I'm sure I managed to stop that in time. Oh my god, she's got no romance with him, so I think I stopped it in time. What the hell? Like, I literally feel all weird and grossed out by that in such a big way. All this time we thought he was some like alien trying to bring her back. Was he her ex-boyfriend? Was he her boyfriend? Ah, that's so weird! That's so weird! That is literally weirding me out so hard. I told her to go and shove him. That is the interaction I gave. I said shove the alien. And for whatever reason, maybe shove is some sort of... It means something very different in alien land. Because she took that or he took it. Somebody took it as being a flirty thing. Ryder is now really sad from jealousy. Oh my gosh. Although he's still, he's feeling flirty because of being at the nightclub and the beats of the DJ. She must be playing like romance music, but he's also super, super sad. Caught the love of his life flirting with another. 
Are they joking around or just losing interest? Guys, what even was that? What even just happened? I, I stopped it in time. Like, I know I stopped it in time because the romance bar, it's not appeared down there. And in fact, they still hate each other. I think alien courting is very different to human courting. I'm gonna send these guys home because Ryder is so depressed right now. Like, Luna's flirty, all happy, and look at Ryder. What the hell even was that? I've never seen such a weird set of interactions in all of my life. How can shoving somebody turn into trying for a baby in a closet? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Poor Ryder. Maybe aliens aren't monogamous. Maybe that's a human thing. So that night out did not go as planned, did it? Because I know he's happily texting somebody now, but look at Ryder. Like literally, and then there's the cat just like, hello, 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 hello. hello. <laughs> That's what Darcy does, by the way. That's literally Darcy right now. But Ryder is actually devastated by what he's just encountered. And Luna is just not. She's off to go wash her hands. Is that metaphorical for washing her hands of her and Ryder's relationship? I don't even know. I don't even know. Go and cry it out into the bed, Ryder. And I'm gonna get him to send a sad text to like, Jakey Snakey. I think he would want his advice here, especially because he's a little bit older and wiser. Oh my God, the poor kid has to go to school with Luna in an hour. Oh, guys, I feel so sad for him. He wants to blog about his feelings. Oh my gosh, he wants to hit up Tumblr and let them know what's just gone down. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Okay, the crying in the bed thing definitely oh. helped. He feels inspired now. I don't know why he's inspired. I think it's because of the room. <gasps> All his pictures and paintings in the room have helped him, you guys. Like, literally years of painting throughout his childhood have helped him go into this room to feel happy about life, not sad about life. And he didn't actually need to send Jake a text in the end at all. And I'm actually so shocked at Luna. I, I honestly did not expect that. I really think that's like an alien versus human customs thing, you guys. And I can't believe the secret to why that guy has been following us all along has been revealed. He is a past love of Luna. Wow. And now this one's fuming because the furniture is wrecked. You can fix those scratches, you know. There you go. You don't have to be so angry anymore. I don't think going to high school with a broken heart is the best idea at all. Poor little bit With his little green socks! Breaking my heart! So apparently these two just spent the whole time worrying about the kids being out because they are both absolutely shattered right there. I was like, what is going on with Roxy's arm? But then I remembered it's all of her tattoos. I think when these guys get home from school, although Ryder's in a better mood now, he is in a good mood. He's been listening to some music and it's put him in a better little vibe. I think he's gonna have to confront Luna about everything. Cause it's kind of weird. I thought Roxy still plays this laser pointer with little Frank Rooney. How cute is that? With the frogs everywhere in the house. Oh look, this one's like, I want, it's Anastasia, isn't it? She's like, I want to play with the pointer too. You can do that, my love. You can be next up with the pointer or the cat wand. Don't be wrecking under there though. Oh my God, she's off. Off like lightning. Oh, and look who's back. I was just saying how my favorite butler is here. And how are you not dead yet, friend? How are you not dead yet? Answer me that. Oh, so little Ryder Roo has got home and the first thing he wants to do is ask Jessie for advice. I'm not sure how much, like, not only she needs a wee, she's also really hungry. So I'm not sure what kind of advice, oh, in fact, they're gonna get the whole embarrassed thing, aren't they? What is, what is even going on here? That is weird. He's having a little bit of a chit chat with Jessie Bobs about things. But I think the actual person you need to talk to, I don't know if that mermaid's meant to be Luna, I don't know. The person you need to talk with is Luna. <gasps> She's very sad now too. She's having a mood swing. Although she is still had a flirty day at high school while Ryderu has been sad. Luna, why are you being so mean in this episode? I don't even understand. <gasps> and Ryder's saying, hey Ryder, it's Faith. Do you want to hang out tonight? Oh, it's like yep. little Faithy Kins new. Maybe we should get OG gang to come together and get some advice for poor little Ryder Vu. And I don't think he's gonna be inviting Luna around this time. So they've actually come out to the bluffs, which is kind of a bit of an unusual thing, but I guess it's a good place to go if you don't want anybody to know where you are. Oh, wow. I didn't expect all these people to come as well. Where, where have they all just come from? It's not even a, gr a group gathering. 
But apparently loads of people have come to hang out with us. Ooh, and look at yeah. Faithy loves a good swim. I just think she loves getting that heart out. It is a very styling heart. And these guys are having a little chat. I like those two together so much. I'm not sure if now would be quite a good time for Ryder to be a little bit more direct with Jake and explain to him a little bit more about the way he feels. Faith, if you want to just give us a, a bit of privacy, I don't know, maybe let us do our own thing for a second. Are you just going to stay here? Okay, you're just going to stay here. He's, uh, he's very sad again. He's still super heartbroken about this love thing. He's asking Jake for some advice, like what is his thoughts on the whole thing. If you can just go away... <laughs> That would be great. Oh, I think Faith, uh, not Faith. Right, Faith's right there. Ryder's trying to, oh my gosh, Jake is trying to comfort him a little bit. Guys, but look at him. He's still really, really sad about everything. Why don't you share a little secret with Jakey Sneaky? Oh, I think little Jake is trying to cheer him up, you guys. Oh, bless him. I feel so sorry for Ryder. That's such a horrible thing to have happen to you. Like, especially in front of all of your friends. Okay, Faith is off. So it's just these guys now. Adding a little bit more fuel to the fire. <laughs> I like how straight away he's like, Selfie, look at me, I threw fuel on the fire. I'm so strong and manly. There are still a few people floating around. And guys, this is kind of a bit of a, thank you. Thank you, you guys, you got the hint. This is kind of a bit of a private thing just between these two, okay? Oh, guys, he's so torn up about this. I feel like Ryder's the kind of sim that like feels, oh wow, what was that, what was that? Oh, I missed that. I yes. think Ryder's the kind of sim that feels things quite strongly. So stuff that wouldn't get under other sims' skin quite as much. Although that would get into most people's skin, I think. What happened with Luna? I think it affects Ryder like much more deeply and for much longer. Okay, he's in a good mood now, so I do have more options. I think I'm gonna get Ryder to confess his attraction to little Jay. I really, really want this to go well for Ryder. Like, I'm rooting for him so much here. I'm gonna do this so we can see exactly what gets said. They're still chit-chatting at the moment. Okay, I think he's gonna do it, you guys. <gasps> he just brushed him off completely! He literally just brushed him off so hard! What even just happened there? This is the thing, I don't get it. Maybe... Maybe Jake thinks they're like such good friends that he doesn't want to ruin it. He just won't accept the fact that Ryder is into him. He just won't accept it. Is is right is Jake definitely single? He is single. Guys, I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe he's just not that into him. I'm gonna try one more. He's gonna compliment Jakey Snakey's appearance. Okay, see, look, he liked it, but not as a romantic thing. Should I just all out try and flirt? Okay, okay. Maybe he's just not about the roundabout approach. Maybe he's just about being exact. Maybe Jake knows about everything that's going on between Ryder and Luna, and he just doesn't want anything to do with it. Oh, gosh. Now he's sad as well, because he managed to burn his arm, you guys. It's just not going well for Ryder on any accounts, is it? This is awful cute, but not only has Luna broken his heart today, but I honestly don't know if we're gonna, if Jake wants a romantic relationship with him. And this is what I mean when I say I don't want to force things. And this is cute. This is very cute, doing a little stargazing. But there seems to be a reason that Jake's just not really all that sure. Maybe he values his relationship too much with him. Maybe he wants like kids naturally, so doesn't think he can be with a guy. But then he married too, so you know, Kind of confusing. <gasps> Look at this, Candy. Candy has bounced back from Connor. She's married Choi, Troy Johnson. And then also Cameron Wilcox has married Karim Monib. There you go. And Zach has married Shania. Didn't Zach have a boyfriend? How's his boyfriend gonna feel about that? Oh my gosh, you guys, everybody's getting married to everybody. Guys, you're letting the fire go out. You're gonna have to get a little bit more fuel on there, I'm afraid. There you go. Also wondering, you know, if the fact that Jake is a loner means that he's not very open to romance. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, oh my God. He just propositioned him. For what? For a woo woo, no! You guys, no, I, no, no, no. I'm sorry, but no, look how sad Ryder is. This is just a really bad idea. I feel like everybody's just messing with my baby's heart right now. Like, Jake, no. No wonder you get married so easily if that's what you do. Although that has now given them romance. 
I made the fire pink. I just think that's such a bad idea. Because now look, he's down again. Oh my gosh. Ryder's love life is really hard, you guys. I feel like he's just getting his heart broken left, right, and center. I feel like maybe Jake doesn't want the same kind of relationship as he does. And then Luna doesn't even believe in monogamy because she's an alien. So I don't know what to believe for the poor guy. And now Jake's been for a little bit of a swim. Proving that under that sweater is actually quite a toned bud. Okay, he has the option now to do a first kiss. But I don't... I'm gonna let them do it. If it happens... <gasps> okay, he's kissed! They've kissed each other! But now, ride it. you need to swoop in and say, this isn't just like a little fling. This is the real deal, okay? He's not just after a woo-woo in a bush. He's not a woo-woo in a bush kind of sim. He's a deep feelings and win. love kind of sim. <gasps> Guys, look, look, look. Chat with Jake. And then he wants to flirt with him on his own. Okay, this is good. But how can I show him that I want something more? I want to show him that it's not... I don't just want to be... It, it needs to be a real deal relationship, basically. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. I think we're definitely past that stage of I'm not sure if Jake wants to kiss him or not because they is kissing a lot right now, you guys. And now he's flirty. Okay, let's make sure he's definitely staying over with us. And let's attempt to seduce him for real, Ryder. I know you are a super romantic little Simaroonie at heart. You actually can't wear all your emotions on the sleeve all the time. And now he's flirting back at him. He's flirting back with him, you guys. This is really good. Okay, but Jake... This is for real. Like, this is literally for real. We're not doing any of the stuff in between. He looks like he's kind of not wanting to ask him. Are you gonna? <gasps> okay! He's accepted boyfriend status, you guys. Oh, wow. Is that literally just to rub it in Luna's face? Wow. Jake just became the boyfriend of Ryder. Okay. This is so much better. Oh, now they're, they're doing all kisses and stuff on their own. I so thought that he didn't want anything to do with him in that way, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think maybe he was just pretty nervous about the whole thing. And maybe he wasn't sure if that's what Ryder wanted because he's seen Ryder with a girl before. Which would be enough to kind of think, no, he's clearly not interested in me in that way. And Ryder, please can you not burn to death? Okay, I think it is time to get the butt home though. Luna's in a flirty mood. Another flirty day at school. Of still flirty from yesterday's day at school. This has been a flirty episode so far. Okay, so little writer Root is home. He wants to send a flirty text. <laughs> I thought little um, Jake Rooney was meant to be staying over, but apparently is not. But that's fine because it is a school day and then you're gonna have a little birthday this evening as well. Luna is in the gym. Do we have to kind of like... I don't even know what the... St we have to be careful because he's still in a flirty... <gasps> Oh my god, Ryder! Ryder! What, you're meant to chat with Luna! Why the hell would you just do that? Is that because he's feeling very flirty? Oh my god. Why is everything to do with Ryder so hard? Ryder, you have to make up your mind. You have to make up your mind. You can't string both of them along. This is just as bad as what Luna did. Literally just as bad as what Luna did. You guys said you didn't want me influencing things. This is what happens when I don't influence things. My sims are a mess. They are actually just a mess. Oh my gosh, the sooner you guys go to school, the better because I don't trust you guys right now. I literally don't even trust you guys right now. And why didn't either of you have homework to do? Where are your homeworks? I'm gonna have to buy them some homework to do before school. Like, I'm literally shocked. My sims shock me. That That is how I feel about my sims. They literally just shock me all the time. And I don't think Ryder knows what he wants. To be fair, he is a teenager and they're not known for knowing what they want, but still. Can you guys both just get the butts downstairs and do the homework? And now he feels like his face is a mess. You're fine. Your face is not a mess, Ryder. Your face is beautiful, angel, amazing face. And now they're literally just both in here doing their homeworks together. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do I do? Wait, what? <laughs> do they just have a more open relationship? Like, I just don't even know. I don't think Ryder can decide between the two of them. I think he loves the fact that, like, Luna's an alien and she's different and cool. But he's always had the soft spot for Jake. And now Jake has finally said he will be a little bit more serious with him. And he will be his boyfriend. And now he goes straight back and kisses Luna! What is this? 
What is this? Do I ask one of them to just be friends? And which one do I ask? I don't even know the answer to this question at all. You guys still have one more day at school anyway, and then it's birthdays tonight. You're not even ready to be adults, but we'll give it a go. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Faith just text saying, I heard you and Jake started dating. That is so cool. I've just dropped my phone. <laughs> Since the kids are aging up tonight, I'm gonna get little Roxy Bobs to bake. I don't know if I, I think I could do like a shared cake. Where's the blue one? I like the blue cake. So we're gonna do the little blue cake for the two of them. I'm gonna get Jesse just to come around and like say nice things to Roxy. Cause I'm a little bit worried that their romance is kind of starting to take a little bit of a tumble. I don't know if she's a bit sick of the serenade. She's like, you're a bit of a one trick pony there, Roxy. I'm gonna get to take a shower as well. Cause she's stinky. And oh. Wow, that cake looks great. Get it in the fridge happened. so that nobody can try and eat it, okay? Oh, Jesse's wanting to go take a piece. Don't you dare be taking a piece, Jesse. Not after Roxy works so hard to make the cake. She's going for a nap, but why don't you guys try and get a little bit of romance back, okay? Why don't you go upstairs and do some no try for a baby, okay? Oh, why don't you go woohoo in the rocket ship, okay? Rocket ship woo-woos. That's what the adults get up to while the kids are at school. There you go, guys. That's how it's done. Teen romance might be messy and silly and have far too many people feeling far too many things. But adult romance can be much more simple. It's just a case of getting in a rocket ship and doing some woo-woos. Good old look at this. Look at this little cheeky bums. I don't think Roxy goes into space very much, so this is nice. Off they go. Off they go. Oh, wow. I can barely even see them anymore. Rocket ship woo-woo is happening right now. And what is Luna doing that's not responsible? What are you guys doing? Oh no, she's doing her homework. <gasps> and oh, he's having a mood swing, you guys. You're gonna have to get over that real quick because all the family's gonna come around very soon once these guys get back from space. Look at them both with their little space hats on. Oh. Luna's romantic again from looking into space. I think aliens just have a real different way about going about things, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, why can't I add candles to this? What about if I put it here? No, I still can't add candles. What about if I put it in your inventory? And then take it out your inventory and put it on this table. There we go. Add some birthday candles for that. Jessie's cooking a little bit of food for everyone. Why don't we go ahead and start a little bit of a gathering? The club members are all coming around. Oh, Roxy wanted a gathering as well, so she's real happy about that. Ryder's trying to paint to get him out of his weird mood. When I asked him to keep painting that one, it said scrap instead. I don't know why. I don't know why it's done that. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Luna is sometimes I get so angry that I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel like when she read Abel's mind, she's like absorbed his messed up brain. Why don't you go and scream into a pillow? I don't know if that's gonna help you, but give it a go. Is she actually off to go do that? No, she's just keeping this one company as she cooks. And we've got the little candles going on top of here. Let's put some music on. Let's put on some electronica. There we go. Okay, so people are arriving, having a little break dance for themselves. Why don't we say hi to little Carrie? She is our little baby angel. Invite us to do a little dance with you, okay? Ryder's still upstairs being absolutely mortified. Although he's painting a really cool picture. I won't be surprised if he's mortified by the mess of a love triangle he's got going on right now. <gasps> oh my gosh, what just happened to him? What just happened there? He got some weird thing for completing that painting. Like he went... <laughs> I don't know what it was, but that's what happened. I think it's got the mortified emotional aura because that's how he felt when he painted it. Which isn't really the best emotional aura for a painting. I'm worried that it's going to make him mortified, but... I'll still put it on the wall. And now look, guys, he's still going through this crazy mood swing and he's off to go cry in a closet instead of saying hello to his family. Oh, Ryder. Ryder Roo. At least everybody else is here socializing. Please come downstairs. Go oh, I thought it was gonna come downstairs and grab a serving, but maybe not. These kiddoonies are hanging out here. Luna, it's your birthday as well today. You don't, you don't have to do your homework because you're already on a grade A. Hey? And you're gonna be aging up, so I think you can probably give the homework a slide today, my friend. Uh, uh, <coughs> <Landry>. uh, <coughs> I could be choking, because when I clicked Abel, she got the option to woohoo in a rocket ship with him. Please don't do that, Luna. <coughs> look what it did to me. Look, literally, look what it did to me. Although she does want to woohoo with Ryder. 
Oh my gosh, Ryder. Ryder who's just in here dancing away. Ryder, I think you probably need to blow out the candles first. I feel like we aged you up before we aged up uh, Luna last time. So if you just want to go ahead and do your candles first. Oh my god, I can't believe how much I choked on the idea of of Abel welcoming with somebody. I did not like that, did I? Oh my gosh, I actually love watching Lilith dance so much. She always goes so mental with it. Okay, he's blowing out his candles, you guys. There he goes. Do your little spin. Do your little spin. Are you gonna do a little shocked face like uh, like Faith did? Let's have a look. Oh no, his face is more pained. He has a very pained expression right now. And he has aged up. He's already got the creativity one. He no longer has that, um, the one that's gonna make his moods really crazily different. I don't really know what to give him. I'm tempted to give him gloomy, but I won't. I think he's always gonna have this art lover one, so I'm gonna give him the art lover trait. And then I kind of want to give him one that shows like how he is like overly emotional. Like he just feels emotions a lot stronger than most people do. I don't know what you would really call that. There's nothing that's like an emotional conduit kind of thing. You can only get that for teenagers. Man, they need more, they need more like traits. They definitely need more traits. I might give him the good. I know I give everybody good, but it says he become become sad when interacting with evil sims, which is kind of what I'm going for. There's none that actually fit what I want from him, which is super annoying. I feel like he's such a complex little sim. I could give him the insane one where he talks to himself and has unpredictable emotions. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know what to give him. I might like if you guys can give me some feedback in the comments below, I think I'll probably change it based on what you said. But for now, I'll just give him good and I'm happy to like swing that if you guys want me to. So there we go. Ryder Roo has aged up. I am gonna need you to add some birthday candles though because you're sharing a cake with little Luna. Why are you instantly crying? You can't be having a mood swing anymore. You're an adult now, okay? Luna, it's your turn to come and blow out the candles. Why is it so dark in this room? Can I not like make things brighter? Okay guys, Luna is blowing out her candles as well. She had a lot of people who come to celebrate hers. That's what fear of reading people's minds will do to you. They'll all come flocking around. And let's see her grown up expression. I love doing this. It's like my favorite thing. Oh guys, she looks in pain, but also she's kind of doing a little bit of an Egyptian dance for herself. So Luna is aged up. She's got the genius. She's got the geek. I am tempted to give her non-committal trait as well. If she's been in a while in the same job or relationship, she becomes happy when quitting a job or breaking up. Take longer to propose and can discuss their fear of commitment. I feel like... I, I don't know, I just feel like aliens are just not committal. If, I feel like she ran away from an ex-boyfriend or she had like, there was something going on with that other guy and then she ran away from him and she did it all in front of Ryder as well. I feel like she's non-committal. But again, I am quite happy to change any of these if you guys want me to. And I've just realized young, young adult means 20s. So all my sims that are still young adults are technically still in their 20s, which does include Charlie Rose and the like. So there you go. <laughs> So now you can finally go ahead and take a slice of the cake, everybody, if that's what you want to do. So let's everybody get some cake. There's a lot of you, so it's going to be whoever gets there first, I'm afraid. Good old Abel got some. Max is straight in there as well. Emma's straight in there. Oh, look, the cake reveals a candle underneath. That's pretty clever, isn't it? Oh, and the lights have finally come on. So there we go, you guys. The two of them have aged up, and they are now stuck in what it seems to be the worst love triangle I've ever seen. Because two other members of the love triangle actually live inside the same house. And Ryder's clearly feeling the whole thing a bit too much because he's gone back upstairs to go and cry in the closet, you guys. And she's headed straight back out to go and look into space. I feel like Luna's getting itchy feet about Earth, to be honest. I don't know if she wants to go back home. So guys, what do I do about this love situation? Please let me know in the comments below. I will give them probably a little bit of a tweaked look once they're into being young adults a little bit more. But if you guys have some idea of something I can do with this love triangle, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Because honestly, I don't really know what to do about the two of them. I do not really know what to do. And I want to hear what you guys say. I think all of them have acted really poorly in this episode. This is what happens when I don't control them and I leave them to do their own thing. They are all complete wreckheads. I think we can safely say that's the case. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up. And I need, need your help on our love triangle but then also on what we give their final traits as well. Please let me know all of the stuff in the comments below and I will definitely take everything you say 
on board. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Sims 4 Dreamhouse. If you have, if you have, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.